These headers are about to replace every single one on your farm. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Hey, what's up, guys? It's DJ. Today, we're going to be taking an early first look at the Honeybee Airflex series headers from Custom Monic. This mod pack features seven different headers, ranging from 25 feet to 60 feet, and also has a header trailer. The header trailer is very unique, and even I wasn't sure how to run it at first, so big shouty out to farm some guy because I was completely lost before watching his video. I'll leave a link to that in the description. You definitely need to watch that after this one. I want to thank Custom Monic for sending these over to show you guys ahead of time. Links to their socials can be found in the description as well if you guys want to check them out and if you're on pc you can actually download these right now you can download the full 4k version of this mod on their facebook page the version i'm showing off today though is the one coming to all platforms don't forget there's no release dates for mods so we're not sure when these are going to be released it's with giants right now waiting testing but since we've got it in front of us let's check it out so the very first thing you're going to want to know is where to find them well the easiest thing to do is go down to mods and dlcs and go to honeybee airflex series here you're you're going to find everything that you need we have the 25 30 36 40 45 50 the 60 foot yeah that's 18 and a half meters plus we have the header trailer itself customization all across the board is basically going to be identical for each one which is really cool if you want to use a smaller version you can and you get to without having to use the bigger version to get all of those cool features so let's start off with the customization itself crop dividers include standard we also have the crop divider number one number two canola and back to standard again the cross auger you can add that and yeah it's even available on the largest ones it's really epic i'll show you guys we even have the query wind system on here so if that's something that you want to add you can do it and lastly we have the height control down at the very bottom and as mentioned that's going to be exactly the same for the entire range here even on the largest version if we go in and add everything <laughs> that's hundred and sixty four thousand dollars for this header it is so massive speaking of sizing let's talk about that so all the way from the very bottom to the very top of the range we have 7.6 meters 9.1 11 12.2 13.7 15.2 and 18.5 meters and everything is uh, well, well it's kind of identical there's no like oh you know the biggest one is the most detailed etc cetera, etc cetera. no these are all extremely detailed I, it's coming from custom modding so we should have expected that but i'm still surprised oh they're so beautiful as we mentioned there's a very interesting header trailer that goes along with these as well and that's this right here so uh, let's kind of jump in and talk about that so these are kind of interesting because the header trailer is one little bit right here but it's in two pieces together and it works with all of your headers what you want to do is you kind of want to hit at least according to farm some guy in his video about two-thirds of the way down your header keep that number in mind this is really easy however it can get a little bit confusing so let's just start with the basic premise when you've got a header trailer you just want to set the header down on the header trailer and be done with it right so that's kind of what we're going to do here what we're going to do is we're going to bring the header forward you can see which direction we're at now it's leaning so you know all the header trailers when they're leaning a specific way well that's the way they go so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna come around here till we get kind of close to the wheels that's what i found between the combine harvester and the wheels you see this back part right here we're gonna drop it boop just like that we're gonna drop it and then we are gonna head around to the other end we're just gonna leave that there don't worry about that right now just this part see where it's at now jump into combine harvester boop and pull forward you should well you can see even i did there we go i'm getting the uh the hitch boop got it so right about there this piece connects to the header trailer it doesn't mess about it just connects right to it how cool is that that's awesome now step one's done jump back out leave it connected don't worry about it you're good leave it connected and then we want to put this trailer in here kind of like it's a, a a fifth wheel almost see we get the connect connect to it immediately it's going to drop away from the harvester and you can drive away and take it wherever you want just like that 
very easy. Now, let's go through here again, and we're gonna hook it up, because again, this can be simple, but you know, don't let it be confusing. Got you, I got you fam. We'll come around through here. We'll jump in the combine harvester. You can see it's still connected to everything, right? Well, we're gonna attach, boop. And immediately it disconnects from the front bit. We can disconnect ourselves from that. And now we're ready to get working. Yes, oh, that's so cool. And then once you're done and everything's set and ready to go, just simply pull back around and rehook up to your header trailer. Once you've done that, yep, you can go wherever, do whatever you need to, put it to the side of the field, whatever is good. You don't have to have this massive header trailer around anymore. It's just this little bit. And just so you guys get to see as well, this works on all of the headers. Boop, just like so. We'll come around here, back it in. Fucking back up straight. Best backwards driver in Farm Sam. And we're good. We are off. This little setup right here works with every single header in the range. What you think about that? Now, of course, since this is a custom modding mod and it's a header, so you kind of know how it works, we are going to be using one of the custom modding combine harvesters. Oh yeah, the Exaflow 9250. So we've got that. I'm going to back up just a little bit and maybe just put this header bit to the side. There we go, just like that. And now we are ready to get rocking. One thing you are gonna have to do is unfold the header itself. So as you can see, you got a little boop right there at the bottom. Boop, that is unfolded, ready to go. We'll go ahead and unfold our combine harvester, 9250 with the, I think it's like 19,000 liter capacity on here. It's pretty massive. Also, uh, not every single combine harvester is gonna get your pipe all the way out there. This is the largest one that this combine comes with and it's only 18 and a half meter header. It barely reaches. But now we have an absolutely massive working area. Uh, if you get a real PC, you can fast farm it if you really want to and just go through. The animations are beautiful. They're looking really, really good. Everything's going in. I mean, it's, it's kind of easy. It's just a header at the end of the day. But the animations, the way it looks, the way it molds to the ground as it goes along, man, now that is something else. That is something special. And that's it. I want to thank Custom Modding for sending these beautiful machines over to show you guys before their official release on the Mod Up for All platforms. If you'd like to get a closer look at these and other Custom Modding mods, check them out on Facebook. I will leave some links for you guys in the description. And of course, make sure you tell them that DJ sent you. With all being said, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the GoHand fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. With that being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.